Hey everyone, check it out. We're taking a quick look at Beatport Link. And for those who don't know, Beatport Link is a monthly subscription that you can stream music straight to your DJ software. And um, Beatport itself has mainly like, you know, club kind of stuff. You know what I mean? You're not going to get any Britney Spears. You're not going to get no Madonna. It's all like club type music. Um, but what the big news is, it's what they made and what they came out with today. They have a web-based DJ software. It's called Beatport DJ. This is the public beta. It's at dj.beatport.com. And this is a great little system because, um, you know, you can take, like, let's go let's hop in, take a look at the genres, for instance. You have a little bit of everything in here. You know what I mean? Like, anything club-wise, it's here for sure. Um. Let's just go into like, let's get an example. Let's go into the dance electro pop and see what we have sitting here. And then there's Beatport playlist. So then there's like the January shortlist. So this is all the new stuff, right? But then you can back up. Man, maybe I don't want all of that. You know, trend and labels. It's a great way to discover music. You know, you can learn about the label. You can check out the art album artwork. The whole thing's just really, really good. So then you see something you want, you're like, okay, let's load that into the track. And there you go. It's loaded in. Simple as that. Load up another track. And, of course, you got your cue points. You have, um, you know, you're setting your loops. Well, that's a, Sorry, that's a beat jump. But you can go in there and set your beat jump up to 32. There's the loops right there. Same thing, on and off. Set those loops up to 32 as well. You got your Q, you got your uh, your EQ here, your filters, your gain, your volume, your crossfader, your cues. So here's what's kind of cool about this whole software too, is you see here, you can actually hook up some DJ controllers to it. Now, there's no support currently right now for my uh, CDJ3000, and there's no support for the Newmark NS7 II that I have. But the DDJ-1000 that I just sold by Pioneer recently, I'm sure that probably works fine with it. It's a shame I don't have it here because it would have been nice to test that out. Um, but you can do all manner of things. You can split the headphones up if you go into like the headphones here. So you can do no headphones, headphones with a splitter, with multi-channel sound card, external, lots of options. You know, change the latency depending on your computer and how fast it is. And um, just, you know, I don't really want to play anything because, you know, no matter what I play here, sensors are going to get me, I'm sure. But you see how fast it loads up. And... You know, adjust the beat grid if you need to. Like I said, I'm not going to keep playing this stuff because we don't really need to do that. You got your sync up there, you know, the magic sync that everybody hates, but it's there. Um, and of course, oh, let's just do this as well, too. Let's jump into full screen. So then you get the full effect. It looks just like DJ software. Nobody would walk by and say, oh, you're on a website. I think this is really cool because here's the point. Now, what I can do. So new one. So I can create a playlist, and let's say I want to take that track there and drag it over here, um, go into the deep house, let's grab something else, pull some from Electro, and I can build this playlist up. So now I can hop on my Denon DJ Go, and I have access to Beatport Link on that as well too, just like you do Serato, Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, um, Tractor has it. Everybody's got it. The only person that doesn't have it at this point access to all the streaming music is the CDJ 3000s because, or the CDJ 2000s for that matter, what they need to do is you can run these things in link mode. So you're running Rekordbox in the um, in export mode and you hit link and it's 
basically sending your um, your music from your computer over the Ethernet, over the network, into the player. One of the downfalls is you don't when you go into export mode, you don't have access to the streaming stuff anymore, right? So if they can work around that, then this would be great because that means everybody can use one platform to build your playlist and send it out to whatever piece of software that you want, right? Because all the software uses Bport Link. Now, of course, once again, this only works based on the fact that you're paying for a monthly subscription. There is 30 days free to try it, and I encourage everyone, whether you have DJ equipment or not, try it out. It's super fun. Mixing on this is the same as mixed on any piece of software I've ever used. So, so far, considering it's fresh out of the gate, this is a public beta. I've been playing with it all day and works great. I've got no complaints about it whatsoever. Like the layout, like the colors, nice and simple. Uh, so if you're a beginner DJ, this isn't going to freak you out too much. It's all very straightforward. When you first start it up, it even has a guided tour and shows you what every single stinking little button does. Like when you go into the effects, you have like this pad based stuff. I'm not a real fan myself of these uh, pad things. You know, other programs I've tried using them and they're just not very effective as far as I'm concerned. So they could really get away with uh, taking that out and just having some knobs and let me trigger things on and off. But like I said, it is a public beta. All kinds of things could change in the near future. But speed that things load up is great. You know, you just drag it in. And even the, the keyboard commands are pretty basic as well, too. Like, S starts deck one, X starts deck two, um, D on deck one backs you up based on your uh, your beat jump of 32, F jumps you forward, and then you got C and V. So you can really mix on this thing by keyboard pretty easily as well, too. Um, I haven't checked to see what the, there, there's a crossfader anything you can do with buttons but you can map everything out on this thing obviously anyways that's all i'm going to say about it definitely check this thing out it's uh going to be interesting to see it's going to shake up the dj world a little bit because all these companies signed up with beatport dj well or beatport link for their being all their software and then these guys turn around and make their own software they claim it's kind of like preparation software in a sense because you are going to use this to prepare your stuff to use on another system but then again, you can also use this thing with your other system, depending on what you're using. And obviously, as future updates come out, you're going to see this thing integrate with everything. The moment this integrates better with a CDJ3000 than Rekordbox does currently right now, it's going to be game over for everybody. So, yeah, we're going to see how this works. I can't wait to see the integration this has with the Denon stuff, to be honest, because, you know, Denon and Beatport are pretty close with each other. So they have a good working relationship. Because hopefully one day Beatport doesn't turn around and start making DJ software because, well, they're making the software, but wait till the, the day they ever make the hardware. That's going to give everyone a run for their money. That's it, everyone. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to turn the alerts on so you know when uh, I make new videos here. And have yourself a great day.